What is going on world? What's up YouTube? This is Zero here and today I'm bringing you guys my official Red Recruitment Challenge response. Uh, yes guys, I am finally bringing this out to all of you. Um, I've been obviously planning on making this video now. Uh, I was planning on making it a couple of days early which uh, is what I'm doing is uploading a couple of days early. I, I always like to up, uh, upload any kind of Recruitment Challenge response a couple of days early just to make sure that the leaders got it, make sure that um, everything kind of went through and that my response doesn't get skipped or anything but anyways guys um, just in a nutshell I uh, did option two on the recruitment challenge for red uh, which for those of you who don't know was basically going for the recruitment challenge in a create a series kind of standpoint so they wanted us to uh, if you were to just choose option two uh, you were you were supposed to create your own series ideas and uh, basically submit them and what they were going to do is I don't know how many creative uh, people that they're going to pick up to red but that's what I did with this recruitment challenge um, I made creative responses I actually made 30 different responses um, that's not including this video video but uh, basically guys what I'm going to explain is what I did for the recruitment challenge because it was something uh, completely different and a lot of you probably have never seen this for those of you who do know me this is kind of how I go for recruitment challenges um, in general uh, I can't hit clips guys I'm really not very good but uh, anyways I'm going to get right into this guys uh, so I had 30 responses in total I'm going to briefly go over each response all the um Every single response is in the description below. So like I said, I had 30 responses, not including this video. So basically, guys, um, uh, the very first video I uploaded was the first day of the Red Recruitment Challenge. So basically, guys, what I talked about on the, in that video was... Uh, just uh, basically kind of the first day how I was trying to hit some clips I could not hit any I also um, kind of was talking about some of the people that I was kind of keeping telling people to keep an eye on um, throughout the duration of the recruitment challenge uh, my next uh my next upload, or my next response, I guess you could say, was called Strive for Greatness. And what this was, guys, basically, um, I talk in this video about always striving for greatness and, and always trying to improve yourself and consistently be uh, just getting better and um, to oh, and never let people knock you down and just to keep on pushing forward even when it's the toughest. Um, so it was kind of like a motivational video I kind of made. The third upload was How to Be a Good Leader. And um, I make a series called How to Be a Good Leader. It's kind of like... Uh, it's kind of like Scarce's leading tips uh, videos, but I kind of explain, you know, how to be a good leader, how leading has worked for me, at least up to this point. And in that how to be a good leader, I talked about finding the perfect recruits and finding um, people that are, or recruits, I guess you could say, uh, to your team and kind of what to look for and stuff and to kind of break it down to finding the best people. The next response was called uh, the first week. I actually, these these uh, responses are actually not in order, but uh, I did make a video. It was called First Week of the Red RC and Review, and I kind of talked about uh, what I, I had done. And basically, guys, for this recruitment challenge, I triple uploaded every single day. Uh, yes, guys, I triple uploaded every day. That's why I got 30 responses. Now, there's a couple of days I did not triple upload. Um, obviously, the responses are due on the 30th. But uh, I returned it, turning it in a couple of days early, so obviously I didn't triple upload, I guess, every single day. But for when I was going for the recruitment challenge, I did triple upload every day. So I kind of explained that, guys. Um, but my next response was, I can't hit clips. And, and this, guys, was just me explaining, like, uh, I can't hit clips. I have tried multiple times. And usually, guys, when I do hit a trick shot or I hit a feed, it's really shitty. It's not very good at all. So that's why I have stuck to leading pretty much from the beginning because I knew I was never going to get anywhere as a player. Uh, but the next upload was about, uh, I talk about leadership and this guy's was kind of just explaining leadership, um, and how it's, you know, we're all kind of worked out for me at least, um, up to this point. And also, uh, the leadership of red and how the leadership of red is just amazing. I'd love to be able to work with those guys, um, all over there because they're so, they're so good and they're so, uh, you know, well known in this community for being amazing leaders. My next response was called Numbers Game, and what this is, guys, is basically how the community is kind of like a numbers game. We're always looking. Um, your up, every upload equals, you know, more views, which equals more likes. Which, and and to, in our minds, when we're uploading, you're a lot of times looking at the likes. You're looking at the views that you're getting on your videos, and it kind of turns into a numbers game because the more that you consistently are evolving with the community, the the more you're going to grow your channel and grow your fan base. You're going to constantly be getting more, you know, likes and comments and, uh, even views. And you have to just be consistently, um, 
evolving with the community because our community is evolving so quickly. The next response, guys, I made was called Raising the Bar. Now, uh, basically, guys kind of talked about how I was raising the bar now um, for oh, I, the last recruitment challenge I went for was, I believe, L7, and I I pretty much try to upload pretty consistently every single day during that recruitment challenge. Most of the recruitment challenges that I've gone for, I try to uh, at least upload every day um, and kind of explain, you know, how I should, uh, why I feel that the team should choose me and stuff, but for Obey, actually, I went, I double uploaded every day, so I did uh, double upload for the last obey recruitment challenge but uh, for this one raising the bar I wanted to triple upload every single day and really prove to people that I'm serious about this YouTube scene uh, because I really am the next response was what's called team effort and this is about kind of how you know your team has to be unified and everybody has to be working together to get things done and that's what I talked about in that in that video and I was talking about how red really uh does this so well. I mean, obviously, guys, everybody is there. It's a structure. It's almost like a pyramid style. Uh, everybody has their specific role in a team, and it's all about everybody working together to get shit done. The next response that I made was called the constant grind, and this is something that even though I uh, I want to, I, I kind of talked about how to just constantly be working hard in whatever it is in life, whether it's YouTube, whether it's you know some job that you have outside of the community, whatever it may be, just to be always working hard and constantly staying on the grind. And what I mean by the grind, guys, is just by really just pushing yourself um, and. Uh, just kind of constantly keeping on the uh, evolution of this community and how like how it's consistently changing. My next response was called the dream team and this is where I was explaining how red would be such a dream for me to get into that team and uh, just because guys I, I obviously I want to take this YouTube um, you know my my YouTube uh, kind of talents and stuff and I, I really want to take it to the next level and I I, I really feel that I would uh, I would love to of course join um, red. But the thing is that the team behind Red is really why I want to join. Uh, I want to join because obviously there's Scarce. Scarce is there. He's been uh, really an inspiration for me because he's such a good commentator. Formula is great. They're associated with FaZe. I just feel that the entire team in general, I would just love to be a part of that energy. And that's why I made that video. My next response was called The Journey. And this is basically, guys, I was talking about, you know, kind of progressing into the in the community and trying to, you know, kind of take the steps necessary to get to... Uh, red or you know to wherever your whatever your goal is in the community or in life in general my next response was called the ladder and this kind of ties in with the journey the ladder was kind of I talked about how it's a ladder system so it's almost like you gotta take this this you know precaution or you have to take this step on the ladder to get to this the, to the, get to the next so it's kind of like say you're a manager of a team and you you're really working hard and you're trying to work your way up you get that promotion to a team captain it's about constantly evolving and getting to uh, consistently getting better and so you can get promoted and then you can get into other teams and it's kind of a ladder system the next response that I made was called the struggle, and this guy's was really the struggle to hit clips. I uh, I had been up to this point, I had been trying to hit uh, you know as many clips as I could, could not hit any. Um, I believe I got one hit marker and uh, I wasn't recording, but. Um, that was pretty much it and it wasn't even that good of a shot. So it was just kind of like I was talking about my struggle with, you know, hitting clips and, and I kind of explaining that. My next response was called three. And the reason is, well, obviously because I've been triple uploading every day, I was explaining that the significance of three for me, um, and how it's, you know, a number that I really wanted to build up to and really get to that point. Like, okay, I can triple upload every single day for a period of time. I know I can do it. And just trying to, uh, you know, kind of get to the point where I was pushing myself to constant to try to get better and uh, that's why I decided to triple upload every day and I wanted to upload um, good quality content my next response was called what can I bring to red and I was explaining in this video what it was that I could bring to red um, out of all the other people that they could choose from and the thing is is guys is that I feel that I would uh, be able to bring a lot to the table, whether it's uh, me being, you know, a leader, part of their management side. I am going to school for business, so I have, uh, I'm kind of getting a business background as well, um, but 
uh, that was kind of like some of the stuff that I was explaining on how, you know, what, what I felt I could bring to the team. And then my next response was, why do I want to join Red? And this is a pretty um, important video because, you know, obviously, guys, it was really a structure and everything about Red. And I really felt that the, the possibilities um, were endless and the opportunity would be so amazing to be able to get into Red. And those were, I just explained that in that, epi or in that upload, just why, why would I really want to join the team? My next response was called Zero Luck. And it was kind of, you know, Know, something that I also made just because I was explaining in that video that I was really uh, still trying to hit clips, but I really couldn't hit any. And this was actually the day that I hit a I got a hit marker, um, but I wasn't recording. But um, yeah, so that was uh, that was why I made that uh, upload. The next one uh, was called "Why Should Red Choose Me," and this is something that I wanted to explain, it kind of tied in with what can I bring to Red, and it kind of tied into that, but um, I was just explaining that video, you know, why should Red choose me out of all the other people out there in the community that deserve Red, and I kind of explained that um, I have, I, I really work hard, and even if they don't choose me, I'm going to keep on pushing myself even further to try to get into, um, uh, you know, my dream, which is to get, to work with Scarce and, and to work with these other like-minded people. My next response was called, Cod tonight, and this was my very um, actually this was my second a uh, creative response for Red, um, but I explained in this video what Cod tonight was, and basically, guys, it was a show that I uh, that I pretty much uh, I would think that would really be cool for Red. It's basically um, I bring guest stars onto the show, and what we do is we do, it's almost like an Ellen uh, show or a Anderson Cooper show, and it's basically um, everything Call of Duty related. So it's kind of like a, a talk show, but it's everything Call of Duty. So um, talking about everything from DLC maps to, you know, new game modes to new Call of Duties. Um, that's really what the show was. And I just explained in that video what it was before putting it into action, which later on I did. Um, but my next response from that was called The Key. And this was a video I made, The Key to Red, and what I felt was the key to get into the team and really what they were looking for. Because Scarce did make a video on tips on how to get into Red, just explaining, and I kind of explained a little bit of my own thoughts about some other stuff that would be kind of uh, what what they, the leaders might be looking for as far as um, for you know people getting into red or what they're looking for exactly. My next response was what does it really take to join Red? And I explained in this video that the biggest teams out there in the community, they're associated with the biggest gaming clan in the world, uh, which is FaZe. And I was just explaining that, you know, they're going to pick, you know, about seven, eight people, maybe even less than that, maybe some more. But if you think about it, guys, there's so many people, they're probably going to get a couple thousand responses easily from this. You know, all the people that really want to get into Red, um, it's, it's crazy thinking about it. But the thing is, is that you just win or lose a recruitment challenge. You just have to keep pushing yourself because... Um, sooner or later, something is going to open up for you, and a lot of people quit before the miracle happens. And I say this all the time, but it's true. People, I've seen it so much. People quit, and that's something that I'm never going to do is just quit on something. Um, I may, you know, every once in a while, you know, take a break from stuff, uh, whether it's like uploading every day or whatever the case may be. But I will consistently be pushing myself to get to my dream. And once I get to my dream. I'm just going to keep pushing myself to even go further. But anyways, that's my uh, next response. Um, and then moving on, uh, the next response I made was my Call of Duty interviews live. And basically, guys, I made a video um, with uh, with Call of Duty interviews, kind of explain what it was. But Call of Duty interviews live is basically um, it's similar to COD Tonight, but it's actually just a one on one interview. And I know there's people like Bang Jam that do uh, interviews, but that's kind of more silly. And I think I've been actually doing these interviews longer than Bang Jam. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I basically bring guest stars onto the onto the show, and what I do is I interview them. To get, to get to know the uh, members a little bit better um, or do you know just to get the get them know get to know that guest more personally um, what they do outside of call of duty how they got involved in the call of duty community so on and so forth um, so I, that's what I explained in Call of Duty interviews, and I brought it to life uh, where I interviewed one of my good friends. My next response was uh, called Red RC Talk, and what I did in this, guys, was I was just talking about the Red RC and kind of, you know, the people who I was thinking I may have as uh, Red RC predictions. I was just kind of explaining the different uh, aspects of what I was feeling going into the following week of the Red RC. 
my next response was my top 10 trick shots, which uh, is a series that I really like doing. Uh, I've only, it's only my third episode of doing it, but uh, I took, did a Red RC edition, took that, uh, got 10 trick shots together and put them together and basically made my top 10 trick shots, which uh, was my episode three. And uh, I, I, it's a series that I love doing and I'd love to, it's not something that, of course, I would bring to Red, but it is something that I really have a passion for. My next response was called Hereafter, and basically, guys, what I talked about was after the Red RC. You know, what are my plans for my personal channel? What are my plans in general for, you know, future recruitment challenges? And am I going to stop uploading the question? And the answer is no. And basically what I explained was I want to start doing more series ideas instead of just doing plain commentaries that are that probably get boring after a while. I want to do my COD tonight. I really want to do Call of Duty interviews. And I want to continue my top 10 trick shots. And I'm up for other um, people's opinions on what I uh, bring to my channel. But there's a few things that I really want to do consistently. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to, uh, I'm, I'm, I don't want to, you know, do too much, I guess you could say, because I want to mainly focus on my team as well. My next response was my Red RC predictions, where I had the predictions of the people who I felt really stood a really good chance of getting in. Um, I believe I said, uh, Obey 8Vs, uh, or Obey 8Vs, I really said, was one person that really stood out to me, and I really thought that he has a really good chance, but there's multiple people, like I said, but I, that's what I did in that video. My next, my next, uh, response was called creating new ideas, and what this was, guys, was trying to explain to people how to kind of create new ideas and not to copy other people, because you always see so many people copying each other whether it's a series idea, you know, top five plays or top five underrated teams or even something like Road to a Kill Cam. So many people copy each other and I was just trying to explain like how I've been able to come up with, you know, other new ideas and not the same stuff over and over again. But um, that's what I explained in that video. And then my last upload was COD Tonight Live. And what this was, guys, was basically bringing my COD Tonight series to life. And I interviewed two of my good friends um, and explained everything Call of Duty related. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much all my responses. I had 30 in total, not including this uh, obvious uh, final response. But all of my responses are in the description below. If you guys want to, you can check out all those. Uh, also, guys, I want to say thank you to Scarce, Formula, Mikes, everybody involved with Red, even FaZe. Uh, love you guys. Thank you so much for just bringing this recruitment challenge out for all of us to have you know, a chance of possibly getting into Red. Um, it's really been awesome going for it. I'm, uh, it's, been, it's been a blast. And it's at the same time, I've learned a lot and I've met a lot of awesome people. So it's been a great time. Thank you so much again, guys. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up. It means so much. If you guys comment below, that'd be awesome. As well as if, you're, if you could subscribe if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.